All right, and welcome everybody. This is the first game of my latest Indie Showcase Saturday, and this is one that just came out very recently. And uh, I always like to showcase stuff by Canadian developers, which this one definitely is. So this is what we're going into first. This is Future Grind, which comes to us from Milkbag Games, which is a distinctly Eastern Canadian reference, actually. People who live out this half of Canada are going to know what that reference is, our goddamn bag milk, which is a friggin' travesty. So, yeah, this is a game that looks very much to me like if you were, if you combined uh, Trials with like an anti-grav magnetic thing, it looks really, really cool. And uh, so it's uh, it's 20 bucks US or 22 Canadian, which is a pretty good deal, at least on Steam. And I believe that this is, I'm going to double check here, but... Um, this, I believe, is on the consoles as well. I really do need to make a point of researching these things beforehand. So, okay, it's on PS4, Switch, and PC. It is not on Xbox right now. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's, yeah, God Machine, that's kind of the thing, right? Yeah, I, 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 I never have a problem talking, as anyone who knows me will tell you. So for me, talking when I don't have a lot of people watching is not that hard. But yeah, if you record, if, if you give yourself something like that about putting content on YouTube, that definitely makes it easier for you to sort of push yourself to keep talking. Um, you know, it's an interesting, interesting thought. So yeah, this is on PS4, Switch, and PC. And it is a... Um, it's like Trials, but with a very different kind of locomotion. And I love the look of it. So uh, when I saw this came across the radar, I was like, yeah, I definitely want to want to give this sucker a try. So uh, yeah, this looks pretty cool. So we're going to give this a go. And once again, like every other game in today's Indie Showcase Saturday, I have not played any of these things yet. They're all being run for the first time. So uh, we've, got that, uh, we've got that going on as well. So... But uh, yeah, Milkbag Games consists of, I believe it's two people. So it is uh, not a large, this is not a big team that made this thing. So I am going to play this with a controller because games like this tend to be ideal for them. Uh, so we're going to turn this on. I am going to turn on the FPS counter just because I like to check uh, performance like that. Uh, now, I uh, NVIDIA recently uh, rolled out the... Um, the... Uh, new G-Sync capability to use with FreeSync monitors. My monitor is not validated for use with, uh, with G-Sync. However, um, my monitor actually has the same panel as one of the ones that does. Hey, Caustic, what's going on, buddy? Uh, my monitor actually has the same panel as one of the ones that does. So I have forced it on. Uh, no, that's because of the menu, uh, Caustic. See if I back out, see it's kind of scrolls. Um, also, my uh, chat is not working again. Hang on a second. This is a bug in OBS. I just need to clear the cache. There we go. That should fix that. So yeah, this monitor is technically not certified for G-Sync, but uh, it uses the same panel as one that is. So I've turned that on. So we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see how this goes. I honestly have no idea. I may need to turn it off again. So yeah, this game is uh, like Trials, but it's like anti-grav racing kind of thing. And apparently there is a bit of a story to it, which I think looks kind of uh, looks kind of amusing. So you're like you're trying to be like a, you're trying to be you're dealing with all these weird like sports agent type people and stuff. Oh, I can imagine that. Yeah. Do you actually have a certified monitor, or are you one of the ones where you're just turning it on anyway? It's not, it's not certified? Okay, cool. So yeah, you can see here, so what you're doing is you've got like a, see what I mean? You've got like a jetpack thing and then you're doing like these, you can like spin yourself around and your goal is to do crazy sick combos and stuff to sort of build up your, build up a high score. Um, and I, you know, I love score attack games, so, um, I think this is pretty cool. So, and for the longer jumps, you hold down. So you see, your goal is to keep a combo going, right? And you do the crazy spins and stuff, and then you sort of keep it, um, and your goal is to keep it going as long as possible, and then as usual, you have gold, silver, bronze type stuff. 
But you see, and that's how you keep. But the combo, as you can see, breaks very, very quick. So, you see, I'm getting it up, uh, getting this, the score up very, very quickly here. But I haven't even hit, I haven't even hit, uh... I haven't even hit the silver target yet. So, as you can see, like... This definitely has a very basic, um... There we go. Oh my god, and the next is 30 grand. So, you can definitely keep this... You know, this can definitely get very challenging very quick. Oh god, a Shepherd Husky mix? Oh dude, that's gonna be amazing. Oh wow. That's gonna be... that's gonna be something else. Oh wow. Well, I hope it works out, man. Oh dude, I, I really hope that works out. Rye would love that. Rai is so good with puppies. Uh, he will. Uh, he he loves he loves puppies. Though I find sometimes he almost feels like he's a little nervous about about uh, playing too rough with some of them. But uh, if 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 he if the puppy wants to roughhouse, Rai will definitely do that. So that's going to be amazing. That'll make him so happy. <laughs> your uh, your uh, cats might have a little bit of an adjustment period, but. Uh, <laughs> So we'll see here. They'll get used to it. You know what? We had two cats when we got Riley and they got over it. So, so did Momo, but Momo likes everything. 10 weeks, oh, so he's ready to be rehomed already. If he's at eight weeks, he's ready to be rehomed typically. So, okay, so assignment, danger, don't touch any of the yellow rails. Oh, oh crap. I think my... Uh, this always happens when I'm streaming. Hang on, guys. I'm pretty sure my controller's out of, batter, out of battery, so hang on a minute. I've got a bag of batteries here, so... Oh, wait, they're, they're crate training him? Oh, that's interesting. Well, that'll save you a little bit of... Uh, that'll save you a little bit of effort, because I tell you what, you want to make... You want to break even the coldest heart... Uh, put a puppy in a crate the first night and then go to bed and try to sleep while it cries like it's being stabbed because that is what Riley did and we sucked it up and we got through it but oh my god that was torturous listening to him squeal downstairs while we had to ignore it Ugh, that was the worst well, that's, I'll tell you what, that's, that's some added value right there. If they train them, if they crate train them for you, that is really nice. Just, yeah, just make sure you keep it up. And there you go. Northern Manitoba. Well, that would make sense. Shepherd Husky mix, they probably come from up in uh, Churchill and places like that. Okay, so this says don't touch any of the yellow rails. So obviously it gives you, it, they're giving you little uh, uh, extra objectives here. So this is tutorializing still clearly. Okay, so this just says assignment complete. So I'm wondering, maybe there aren't, maybe there aren't, um, maybe there aren't uh, score goals with every map. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of getting, uh, yeah, I guess there isn't, okay. But I'm kind of getting, okay, I'm kind of getting the vibe of this here. So, the menu and presentation and stuff like that are definitely a little bit basic, but, uh, what's up, Rez? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Do one undergrind. Grind the underside of a rail by holding jump when under a rail. Tricks only count on rails that are not white. So, I could see the systems for this getting pretty damn complicated pretty fast here. Um, but this is neat. Like, it's it's definitely very uh, simple. Like, the, the, the presentation in this game is pretty simple and straightforward. But I like the look of it. Like, I like what they're going for. It looks... 
Oh, okay. But it looks really, really, uh, I, I, I actually do like the look of it. Like, it's fairly, uh, you know, it's, it's fairly, um, straightforward, you know, it's a little bit basic in its look, but it has a really nice sort of glowing look to it. Um... Neon Drive? Yeah, it has a little bit of that going for it, yeah. And the idea of this is this is, this game is basically Trials, but, like, you're controlling, like, a weird, like, magnetic bike thing. But it's kind of like Trials in that you're playing for um, both score and, like, combos and things like that. And very clearly, because it threw a whole bunch of mechanics at me right off the bat there, this very clearly is going to get very difficult very fast. But it's sort of easing into it here. And this is kind of interesting. You're 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 working with this like sponsor person and you're trying to build like a career doing this. Apparently there is kind of a story to this, though I don't know how in-depth it gets. I can say right now that mechanically, this is seeming pretty cool. Um yeah, so this is on uh, this is this is on the PC, but it's also the game is on uh, PS4 and uh, Switch. It is not on Xbox at least presently. Okay, I'm forgetting that I can I can actually touch white rails. Oh, first run, I got very close to the silver trophy, and I can tell you right now, getting uh, getting. Um, whoops. Getting gold medals on every run in this, probably going to take a lot of practice and or smash controllers. <laughs> Damn it. But one thing I very much approve of, instant restart. You hit the Y button and boom, you're right at the beginning again. Like no loads, no waiting, no nothing. You just... You hit the button, and off you go. I very, very much approve of that. Oh, I did way worse that time. The music in this isn't bad. It, I'm not going to lie, it does sound a little stock footage or a little uh, royalty-free. <laughs> Which I really hope means I'm not going to get claimed for it, but... Uh, it's not bad though, and it fits. And if this was original music, I do like I don't mean to insult it by saying it's royalty free. There is some good royalty free music, but it just it does sound a little It sounds a little generic, but I don't mind it though. This is a game that's screaming for us a, a really good hardcore synthwave soundtrack, if you ask me. Okay, well, I did all right there. Clearly, this is something you're going to want to go back to. If you're a perfectionist, you're going to want to go back to repeatedly to hit that, to get those high score targets, but. Oh, nice. It does have online leaderboards. Okay, so I'm number 119 now. Uh, it doesn't do the whole thing where you can hit the button to scroll to the top, though. I That's something you always need in games like this that have online leaderboards. You need to be able to see what the savants get. Okay, top global. Here we go. 117,000 points. Yeah, I'm never going to be that good at this game. <laughs> so do one... What's this? How to, uh, Do one hang ride. Sometimes it's easier to start a hang ride... Gr hang ride? Hang grind by falling into it. Okay, so that's having the top wheel on top of the rail. I'm always hangry. Hang riding. Oh, there's the hang Hang ride. I hang rider. Oh, I now get it. Okay, I get what the... It, it hasn't explained this yet, but I get what the white uh, bars are. So the yellow bars will kill you. The white bars will not kill you, but they will end your combo. So if you have a combo going, you want to you want to try to avoid the white ones too because that will kill your combo. That makes a lot more sense.
Yes, and now I understand how to score much, much higher. Don't touch the white bars. Gotcha. You know what? Let's try the score attack again now and see what I can do. Because these are all the same tracks, right? You have different missions taking place on the same tracks, but they're, they're, they are different tracks, so... Also, I really love how fast... I really love how fast the missions are. Like, it takes, like, 15 seconds to beat a mission. So you could load this game up, do two or three missions really quick when you have a few minutes, jump out again. You could totally do this on a phone, too, if they really wanted to. Oh, uh, like Resident... Oh, and uh, Resident Evil? Yeah. Oh, well, that's the thing, Caustic. It's, it's not that I dislike them. They're just not really my jam. But... No, in I mean, I played the Resident Evil 1, 2 one-shot demo. It is a gorgeous game. There is no doubt about that. I might pick it up when it's on sale. I, I'm not going to play it right now, but I might pick it up when it's on sale, because it does look like an ex they did an exceptional job with it. Yeah, the one-shot demo, the only uh, bug that it had was that it seemed to think I had no video RAM, <laughs> which was a little strange. But other than that, it, it ran and looked just, just fantastic. So, no, my next Capcom jam is Devil May Cry 5. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cannot wait. And that thing is, that thing runs on the same engine. That thing is just, uh, I played the Xbox demo and just, mwah, it's beautiful. Oh, it's going to be so good. Can't wait. Even as someone who liked DMC, I still can't wait for... Yeah, I'm PC as well. Uh, I'm buying uh, Sin's copy uh, that he got with his uh, GPU because he doesn't care about Devil May Cry, so... Yeah... I, I don't know why, I've kind of gotten bit by the trophy and achievement thing again recently. I fell off that bandwagon for a long time, and I, I don't know, something about it is getting its hooks in me again. Um, yeah, how's that been going, Rez? You've been one of the people who really stuck with Sea of Thieves, eh? I rep for Left Coast. You think you might be left coast material. Well, no, it is. It actually still has a very devoted fan base. And apparently it's very popular on Twitch, interestingly enough. Which I would not have thought. I guess it's a good game to watch as like a background thing. New bike unlocked. Different wheel color. Oh, different wheel colors. Oh, this could be way trickier. So I have, oh wow, yeah, so I have to make sure that the wheels match the track. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be rough. <laughs> oh, man. This suddenly just got a lot harder. Interesting. Wow, Okay, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Well, you know what, Rez? Uh, I may be attempting uh, to try out Shadow at one point for another thing that we're thinking of doing with the shed. If I get, a sh if I can get a trial Shadow VM, uh, I'll let you know. I can give you the login, and you can try it out and see how it works. Though, it probably won't be in a UK data center, which means it'll be, probably be pretty laggy for you if I got one, because it would be in a North American data center. But, at least it could give you an idea, right? Okay, match your wheel color to the rail color. Okay, the real future grind starts here, boys. Let's do this. Also, you have to keep balance, too. Oh, Jesus.
Yeah, I remember that. I'm just curious how it works. So I'm experimenting with both Shadow and Parsec for a, uh, a new idea that uh, is being floated in the team. Uh, so I want to see which one is better. Parsec is not quite the same thing, though, uh, as Shadow. I mean, it is, but it isn't. So uh, they could both work, but mm, I have to mess with it a little bit. Okay, I almost got silver on this. No, 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 not cool. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta grind out the silver here. Oh, did it. Okay. 45,000. Give me a freaking break. Oh, man. This game's already getting tricky, but I'm liking it a lot. Wait, hey, it's me, Ada. It's too dangerous for me to contact you like this through my work account. Listen, I need your help. Just be careful. Things aren't what they seem. You'll see what I mean. Uh-oh. Things are things are getting crazy in the world of uh, Magnet Bike Esports. Do a 720 front flip. Okay, this I've done before. Not with a double-colored bike, mind you, but... Whoops. <laughs> Don't fall off the track. Yeah, thanks for that. I gotta say, I am, though I could see this game absolutely beating the piss out of me pretty soon. Um, I'm having fun with this. This game is super tense and like you really got to concentrate. But I'm actually really in I'm really enjoying how it plays. The controls are excellent. Um and the instant restart is great. So many games don't understand that the the necessity for instant restart functionality. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've 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 watched uh, a Linus Tech Tips video on Shadow uh, Res. They have some really trippy tech. I would love to work for a place like that. Yeah, I made some tweaks to the board in Finite to the uh, visual design of it, and yeah, Anthem is still having uh, some major server issues right now. The uh, response to it has been so great that uh, they seem to be having issues getting it going. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, no, I did it. I did a 720. Okay, good. So just FYI as well, you guys, uh, Skyman is actually disabled for Indie Showcase Saturdays because, unfortunately, it, um, it gets me... Uh, it, I run the risk of getting copyright claimed when I use it on YouTube, so um, at least for, for for now during Indie... Because I can't guarantee which clip is going to play, for right now the button's turned off just during just during these, but... Skyman, I'm probably going to end up replacing with something a little different eventually. Not anytime soon, but... I do think it's getting a little... I do think it's getting a little old. But we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. That's just on the planning. That's just in planning right now. Ah, damn it. I have, like, horrible nightmares of Skyman now because I've heard it so much. Ah! Hey, Freelix Arcadia, thank you for the follow and welcome to the Paratroopers. Happy to see you here. Got here, uh, we're just doing the first game of this week's Indie Showcase Saturday. We've actually got a, uh, this is just the first of at least five games I'm hoping to cover. Oh, clip. Yeah, let's just replace it. You know what? Let's 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 get together with maybe OHM can help with this. Let's get a mashup going. We'll mash up Claire de Lune and uh, and big enough somehow. 
And then there we go. We'll, we'll mash those two things together and we'll have the ultimate nightmare fuel. I think that'll be perfect. Oh, God damn it. This game is, this game, yeah, this game turns into trials wicked quick. A lot of it really is just about pattern memorization. I would love to see like a GDQ speedrun of this game. I think they have done GDQ speedruns of trials before. Woo! There we go. Uh, no, Rez, this week I didn't stream uh, because, one, I was absolutely exhausted from being at PAX South, which is the other reason I didn't stream on Thursday and Saturday the week prior, is because I was going to PAX South, and work was absolutely insane this week. From the moment I got back to work, it was nothing but fires uh, to put out, and it's just, I, I was so exhausted. The only reason I'm not like a hus today is because I slept for like 11 hours last night, so... I'm coming back in force next week. I hope the fires at work are a little quieter now, so it should be good. Yeah, uh, Freelix, this game is is really interesting. So I'm playing this. This came out just a couple of days ago. It's on the PS4, the PC, and the Switch. Perfect Switch game, this. It's like a, it's like if you took the Trials Motorcycle Challenge games and sort of mashed them together with like a motor, like a, like a, this magnet grinding race thing. I've been really liking it so far. I've been having a good time. And it has like a weird story in it as well. No, Infinite I I want to play Hollow Knight. I do. I was going to have a, a Sherpa stream with Wirt at some point with that. I I love... I, I, I really love that game. It's fantastic. I am a weird story. Yeah, uh, no, it's... Uh, yeah, Resonant, it's uh, it's a term we use in IT. If something's on fire, it just means that something's having, like, a major issue. Uh, like, a major urgent issue. So... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I could see... Yeah. Uh, you should check out... If, if you like really satisfying but immensely challenging games, Freelix, you should check out the Trials series. There's actually... Uh, there's several of them now. Uh, they're actually, um, uh, there was a new one, Trials Fusion, that came out a little while ago that, uh, people generally like. They're score attack games, they're incredibly difficult, but they are very, very satisfying when you, when you land them. Uh, and this is very much an attempt at that with different gameplay mechanics. Plus it's made in Canada, which is something I always like to support. Oh, I was so close! To sil- oh, to silver. Also, it has crazy high objectives. But, um, the things I- the thing I like about it, the controls are super tight, uh, super responsive, which is absolutely critical in a game like this, as I'm sure you'd agree. And the thing that I like about, uh, I, it, it, the visuals style I really like, the sort of neon, like, light Tron aesthetic. The soundtrack's okay, though I could kind of take or leave a little bit of it. Uh, Beaver Tales are pretty awesome, I agree. Um, but the thing that I also love is it has instant reload. So if you mess up a level, you hit a button, you're immediately playing it again. There's no load times, there's no 3, 2, 1, go, there's nothing like that. You hit Y, and you're instantly back at the start of the track. So if you screw up a run, you can go again right away. That is absolutely critical in a game like this. Um, so something I very, very much appreciate. Undergrind two rails, okay, that one I can do. But you see, like, if you screw up a, uh, a run, you just hit Y, boom, you're right back at the start like that. I love that. I don't know why so many games insist on doing the whole, like, uh, you know, when, when you restart it and they go, okay, three, two, one, go, like, don't count me off, just let me, let me go. You know, if I hit the button, I know I'm going to restart right away. Let's, let's just keep that, keep that going like that, and, uh... These guys definitely get what's necessary to make a good one of these games, it feels like. Damn it! Though, as you can see, a lot of these games are, are very much about pattern memorization, and that's not a bad thing, but also... <laughs> you'll fail a lot, and you may get a little bit frustrated in the process. Yeah, it kind of doesn't, and I like Neon Drive a lot, but... 
I have it on PC, and yeah, Neon Drive's a fun game, but yeah, it, it definitely does not quite have that. Uh, the, quite the level of, like, instant restart and whatnot that this has. This game is uh, a really good because it's a game, because each level doesn't take very long, you can fire it up when you have a few minutes and just spend, you know, a little bit of time working on it. And I really like that because, and that's what makes this a great Switch game because it doesn't demand a lot of your time. You can fire it up, do a few levels, have a good time in between something, bounce out, and off you go. And I really like that about it. Uh, no Infinite they haven't answered yet, but um, they probably they probably will uh, at some point. I'm hoping so. If not, I'll try once again to hit Devolver's PR people up. But you know, like I said. I have not had, and honestly, at PAX, my experience wasn't that much better. I really have not had the greatest uh, experience dealing with uh, Devolver Digital. So, much as I love them uh, and the games they make, they really don't seem that interested in working with small creators, but we'll see. Once uh, Bizzo and I get our, our slick um, pitch sheet done uh, for developers for the shed, I'm going to be hitting them up and uh, asking them uh, on that. They might be much more interested if I come to them with the team. <sighs> I love how they're using actual, the actual emojis in this too. They didn't draw their own, they're using the Unicode emojis. Oh God, what's this? Color zones change the color of any wheel that passes through them? Oh no. Wait, it doesn't? I thought it did. I hope there's an easy way for the streamer to find out. I thought it did do that. Oh god, okay, this looks like it's gonna be kind of a hot nightmare. Uh, it may not say if... Maybe if you're following a channel... Uh, because it usually shows near where the follow button is, so maybe it doesn't show if you're following a channel. I, I hope me as the channel owner can see it, because that would be unfortunate. I'm not as focused on follower numbers as I used to be, but nonetheless. Huh. Interesting. I'll have to check that. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm sure, Rez, you at least know this, but Infinite mu um, might not. They did, uh, the, uh, the mod wheel is back. They got it re- they got it re-implemented. Yeah. So, the, the, uh, the old way of modding that nobody wanted them to change is now back, which is very good. Uh, are you what are you in a maximized window in Finite, or are you, uh, are you watching in, like, a not, like, window that's not taking up your whole screen? Maybe it, it, uh, maybe if you're not watching in full screen, it takes it, it takes it part way out? Oh, interesting. Oh, I got silver first time. Nice. Well, first time I finished it. I think it's safe for me to use this account to contact you like this. For now, I just need you to play along with everything. I'll explain more soon. That is a little weird. I'll check that out later. Maybe they changed something. I don't know. Oh, God. Do a 720 backflip. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Nope! <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe it's not always just pulling the follower numbers out. That's entirely possible. So you're a, uh, so you're a streamer as well, uh, Freelix? If, uh, if so, would, uh, somebody mind just doing a, a shout-out for them? Always like to, uh... 
Oh, you were last playing Gwent. Oh, interesting. I've never played the standalone Gwent, though I've been offered code for it before, but I'm a massive uh, Witcher fan, and I, I played far too many rounds of Gwent uh, against uh, NPCs in that game. <laughs> I know the, the standalone version of Gwent is quite a bit different than... Uh, uh, than... Uh, the one that you play against NPCs. Oh, damn it, I was doing so well. But I saw nothing. But, but you say? Cool. Well, you know what? I, I, when I played Gwent against NPCs in uh, The Witcher 3, I, I enjoyed it. I just, when I looked at Gwent, the standalone game, I'm just like, I, I won't have the time to put into this to get good at it. That was my main thing. It's nice that it has a good population, though, because it's a, the, the game itself is a cool idea. Yeah, hey, Were Tiger. Yeah, well, that's the thing, right? Is, is, I, yeah, I yeah I so I didn't collect all the cards because I missed one in a quest, but I got most of them. But yeah, I I later on, especially when I bought all the extra cards from vendors and stuff, I absolutely wrecked shop in in Witcher Three. But when I saw how much more advanced the standalone game was, I'm like, I'm gonna have to put a lot of time into this, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. But uh, I can in Finanite. Uh, I do have somebody coming over later today, uh, but I'm not sure when yet. So I can definitely play some of it today, I hope, and maybe uh, probably some tomorrow too. So that's what I heard is they took they 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 cut down the grind. Uh, okay, move to a rail new rail without jumping to do a transfer. Okay, that's easy. Oh wait, that uh, oh transfer meaning without jumping. So in other words, I've got to slide down to it like that. Okay, well I just did it. So uh, I'm not sure. I may have. Uh, if you DM'd it to me before I started streaming, I probably missed it. But I can grab. I'll, I'll take a look at it after. Oops. You know what the big problem is with this game, though? I tend to play games like this very intensely, and my thumb is already hurting from mashing the A button too hard. Because I, I'm one of those people who, even though I know hitting the button harder doesn't make you jump better, I instinctively, when I want to make a jump, I'm like, and I like mash on the button and my thumb already hurts. Oh, it was yesterday? Oh, you know what? Yes, I saw the link. I was talking, I was on a call with my branding guy when you sent it to me, and I didn't end up watching it, but I will watch that after. Boss wants to see what you can do on our track at Ralhorn. I'm hearing there are other sponsors interested in you, too. Don't forget us at Left Coast when you're famous. Uh, okay. Yeah, that'll happen, uh, Prelix, when I'm either playing, uh, puzzle games or, yeah, shmups. If I play shmups a lot, I tend to get, uh, gamer thumb. You know, I remember back in the Super Nintendo era when they used to sell these rubber things. I think they still do. These, like, rubber thimbles you could put over your thumb, and they, they called it to uh, to help with gamer thumb. Which I always thought was hysterical. Whoops. Nope. Nope. So do you uh, do you stream very often, uh, Freelix? Like, are you on a are you on a schedule, or are you just kind of you sort of pop on whenever you want? Is or is like uh, is Gwent kind of the main thing you stream, or do you uh, do you do other stuff too? Always like to ask when I see uh, uh, another fellow mixerite on here, uh, kind of what their what their stuff is about. 
Oof, didn't score great on that one. So I'm gonna do a cut. What the balls? Oh, nice, cool. Well, good on you. Always nice to see more people here. Highly recommend if you're interested in uh, hanging out with another cool group of both uh, gamers and streamers. Highly recommend. Uh, I'm shilling pretty hard here, but oh, wait, that's not it. Uh, highly recommend uh, giving the shed a look if you're interested. It's a really awesome community of people. I'm the the I'm our dev, dev, the, blah, developer relations envoy, which is why I'm uh, I'm here. But uh, there it is. Thank you, Rez. Um, really awesome group of people. I met a whole pile of them at PAX South last weekend, and oh my god, I didn't want to leave that show after that. There were so many amazing people. A really cool community to hang out with, so. Okay, so something here is clearly going a little wonka do because, you know. Yeah, feel free to ask myself, uh, Synchrosis, uh, and Synchrosis are in there. Real Caustic is actually one of our admins, uh, and Finanite's another member of our community as well. Really, really great group of people. Um, and we love, uh, we love seeing new streamers in there and, uh, uh, you know, offering friendly advice and giving people some, um, you know, giving people, uh, some things to help them hit their goals. That that team is a bit has helped my efforts on Mixer immensely in terms of uh, of what I've managed to accomplish here and figure out. So really good, uh, great group of people. Uh, I'm trying to remember how hang 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 grind hang grinding. I keep wanting to say it that way. How hang grinding works. Oh right, it's yes. Okay. It's gra It's under grab the rail with the wheel on the top of it. Yeah, for sure, Rez. Can definitely uh, assist with that. Myself and Sin are both pretty uh, pretty good at that. It's getting to the point where people can come to us with like a CPU and GPU type and we can just be like, yeah, set your stream like this. <laughs> I actually need to revisit mine at some point too. I, I think I can actually optimize my image uh, quality versus my CPU load a little better than I am. So I want to work on that. God damn it! He's doing well. Oh man, this is quickly getting very challenging, but in a in a cool way. Damn it. Like, I honestly, we've kind of gotten a really good idea of what this game is about already, but at the same time, I'm really, really... I'm really, really wanting to know what's happening with this crazy story that's, that's breaking out now. Like, they actually put... Like, the Trials games don't really have a story, but this one does, and they're, they, they... There's something... There's some weird intrigue kind of thing going on here that I really want to know about. That would definitely be cool, Rez. That would be wicked cool. Okay, let's see if we can do this. So now it's just survive the track, because this one's not a score attack, so... Okay. Um, build a 12 times multiplier. Oh, jeez. All right. I don't need to do anything too fancy here. I just need to avoid the white rails. There we go. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Ooh, here's another, okay, here's another sponsor. 
Your new Rapid Gimbal. Welcome aboard. We welcome aboard. We are excited to work with you. Our bike will take some getting used to. Get started with our track on Sanctuary. Oh yeah, another bike that will take time getting used to. One large wheel, one small wheel, offset pivot point. Oh god, so it's it's bottom heavy. <laughs> So it's heavy on one side. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, it's so heavy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, this... Oh, no. <laughs> Big old Yamaha. Nice. Oh god, this is friggin- oh Jesus! This is tough! Trials didn't have so much weight management in it like this. This is a really cool mechanic. This is a really, really neat mechanic, actually. I quite like this. Right? Pretty much. Oh. Yeah, ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, Christ. I also like if you look up at the survive the track uh, goal, it actually has a bar that shows you how far into the level you are. I like that it does that. Oh, man. I was almost there. This one, yeah, and there's real world stuff as well. So th there's actual like building obstacles that you can hit as well. Yeah, this suddenly got freaking brutal. Nope. Yeah, a lot of people don't remember the GG anymore. I should put a chat reminder up for that or something at some point. Or just put it on a button. Oh yeah, by the way, Infinite, the problem uh, that people were having a couple of weeks ago with um, the board not working... Uh, unless I restarted it after I went live. I reported that to the Mix It Up guys, and they went weird. No one else has reported that problem, but uh, let us know if it happens again. And then they pushed an update to Mix It Up the next day that just said various bug fixes, and it's never happened since. <laughs> so I don't know if they actually did find a bug that they fixed, or maybe they inadvertently fixed it, or maybe it was something with Mixer that they fixed. I don't know, but it seems to be fine now, which I'm happy about. Oh god, this is brutal! Oh no, they're very forthcoming about that. Probably what it was is that so sometimes if it's a minor bug, they won't detail it out in the change log. It will just say minor bug fixes. Um, like, they, they, they update... They update... Um, uh, mix it up, like, every second day, practically. There's patches for it constantly, so... It may have just gotten rolled in with something else, so... Frankly, I don't care as long as it's fixed. Uh, Res, this game actually only came out like three days ago, so I actually don't have any extra keys for it. Um, yeah, it's brand new. Uh, that was one of the reasons I wanted to cover it, is I wanted to kind of strike while the iron's hot on this one. Uh, but this is on the PC, the PS4, and the Switch. It is not on the Xbox right now. But this game, honestly, I might pick this game up again on the Switch. Because this is a perfect... Because the levels are so quick, and you can just sort of do a few levels and then uh, come back to it later. This game is honestly perfect for a portable format. Like, if the Vita was still a thing, this would be a great Vita game as well. Also, I just noticed... When you blow up, your body totally flies out of this vehicle. You actually see your, like, blowed up corpse falling out of it. 
which is pretty hysterical. Right there. But yeah, I gotta say, guys, I mean, other than the fact that we still don't really know what's happening with the story, uh, I can tell you right now that mechanically, this game is a friggin' blast. It is clearly getting very hard, but it is very, very... There's a building there. But it is clearly... Uh, it is very, very satisfying. It controls beautifully. Uh... You know, all these new difficult mechanics that they're throwing at me are, are, it's not, like, it takes a lot of practice to get good at it, but you very clear, like, you understand it quickly, right? And you, you kind of start to wrap your head around it after a while. Um, the, I like the neon visuals. They're relatively simple, but they really convey things well. The soundtrack is fine, though I don't think it's particularly memorable. Um... But yeah, this game is a very different take on Trials, which I, I think we need more stuff like that. I doubt I'll finish it because games like this tend to reach the point where they're just too, they're just way too damn hard for me. Uh, and I kind of run out of patience, but this is very, very well put together. And uh, yeah, made by a team of uh, two people from, uh, from Canada. So, uh, I am enjoying this a lot, actually. I think this is a, a great, great b batch of fun. And yeah, I think this would be a, uh, a fantastic Switch game. Oh, guy! There we go. All right. You actually will see your, like, your, like, blowed up corpse. That's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I got to concentrate on this game when I'm playing it. I'm actually looking at a... Uh, there's a utility I might get at some point that actually allows you to take your mixer chat and overlay it on top of the game footage. So, like, you guys don't see it here, but I see it here. So I don't have to turn my head in order to see the chat. Um, I'm anxious to give that a try. Uh, see how it works. So, yeah, I'm going to do, uh, we're coming up on the hour for this game, but uh, I'll do a couple more levels here. But uh, so far, this definitely has my endorsement. It, you got to like tough games. You got to like games with uh, sometimes difficult to grasp mechanics that require a little bit of patience uh, to figure out. Uh, but I am enjoying this uh, an awful lot so far. So this is Future Grind. It is on the PS4, the uh, PC, and the Switch. Like I said, I might buy this again on the Switch because this game, with, it, with its quick hit format, is absolutely suited to a portable machine. Um, but I really like the fact these guys clearly get how it's supposed to work. They mix up the mechanics. They don't force you to stick with the same thing for, for too long. And it is a... I, I, it, and, and they understand the necessity for things like instant reload. Like the ability to just hit a button and instantly start a fail level over again without any friggin' countdown, without any friggin' preamble or starting animation. Just, hey, hit the button, go back, start again. That is absolutely critical, and they, they get that, which is something Trials understood as well. So uh, good on them for really knowing what they were making and what is necessary to make a good one of these. So I uh, I have to say I'm pretty impressed so far. So this game's 20 bucks US. It's actually only 21 Canadian on Steam, which means that well, I mean these guys are Canadian devs, so they know how badly we get royally screwed on exchange rates. So they uh, good on them for not making the uh, the Canadian dollar tax that uh, punitive or punishing. I I like devs that that do that. Uh, so very very good on them for that. Um, but while I, I I have to see if I, if it's if I've got it in me to finish this game, this is definitely something I will put some time some more time into. Um, see if I can just do this level. But it gets kind of addicting, right? Like you you really want to finish the level. 
And because the levels aren't very long and you can instantly hit that button, if you die, you don't have a lot of time to get angry about it or focus on the failure. You just hit the button and you're right back into it and you're concentrating again. And that's the other thing I like is because if a game has a long restart or a load time or something like that, all it does is make you focus on the fact that you didn't succeed at the level and you get, you get pissed off and it kind of turns you off the game. But when it throws you right back into the action immediately, you don't have an opportunity to do that because you gotta get, you gotta go, you know, you gotta get right back into it. And that actually can help alleviate player frustration with games like these. Yeah, I know, I totally forgot that you have a second monitor. I still have that better monitor here for you from Extra Life in my office, so at some point I'm gonna figure out how to, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that to you. That middle, that middle structure, I always forget about that. I can't wrap my head around the fact that, the, hey, that, hey, this thing is gonna be there. Oh man, yeah, this game's uh, already getting its hooks in me pretty quick. I would adore seeing a game like this at uh, a GDQ or something. I am 99% sure there have been trial speed runs at GDQ. But I, I would love to see this game there. Uh, someone who is really super, like, kick-ass good at this game would be something really impressive uh, to watch. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, no! <laughs> All right, Freelix, hey, really, uh, really good to see you here, and, uh, yeah, I'll keep, uh, uh I'll go check out your channel at some point. I would love to, to do that. I'm always happy to help out new streamers, but definitely come check out the shed at some point. They're a, a really good group of people to hang with, so really, uh, really happy to, really happy to see you. Hopefully we'll see you again. You have yourself a good afternoon, eh? Oh yeah, what's that, Infinite all right, let's try this one last one. Build a 15 times multiplier. I'm pretty good at this. I say as I immediately hose it up. Uh, it's stuck on initializing. Uh, your best bet in that situation, if you haven't done it, is close the blizzard launcher. Uh, and restart and restart it. That won't restart the download, but it probably just means it's failing on a checksum or something like that. Uh, so try restarting the Blizzard launcher. Failing that, try restarting your system. Uh, but usually that will solve situations like that, typically. It also might be having a hard time getting the download started if your internet's really busy. So like if you're watching me and if someone else in the house is using the internet in that, it may be having a hard time reinitializing the download because it can't allocate enough bandwidth. Uh, you can also set a throttling limit on uh, the download speeds in the Blizzard launcher, but that means your Destiny is going to take even longer to, to finish downloading, so you probably don't want that. <laughs> okay. So we're basically out of time with the hour for this game, but uh, honestly, uh, this game's really cool, and I'm really, really liking what I've played of it so far. Doesn't look like it's super long because we're already at 27%, though I expect that this does get um, very, very hard to the point where it probably takes a lot longer to uh, get through the last section than uh, it might indicate, so it's probably not 
probably goes a little bit further than uh, than I I think it does. But uh, yeah, that is Future Grind. It is on Steam, the PS4, and the Switch. It's twenty bucks US. As you probably can already tell by how I've been doing with this, I'm really enjoying this. I think this this game is a ton of fun. Um, I will probably pick it up again on the Switch because I feel like that is probably the best place to. Um, to play something like this is to have it in a portable form so i'm enjoying it a lot definitely check it out it is by milk bag games canadian devs representing as always so uh really really great uh really good first impression so far so all right that's the first game from indie showcase saturday so if you are watching on youtube please like subscribe comment etc etc but we've got four more games on the docket today possibly even more so i'm going to uh we're going to move on to the next one in just a moment so stick around guys Indie Showcase Saturday continues.